At one point of Guyana's western border with Venezuela, the Renamu River flows into the Cuyuni River, and there is an island at this junction called Ancoco Island of about two to three square miles. According to the map in existence since 1904, the border runs roughly through the center of Ancoco Island from north to south, so that the western part of the island is Venezuelan and the eastern Guyanese. For some time, in fact during last month, a number of Venezuelans were crossing onto the Guyanese side and have since then been carrying out certain works on our territory. The report of this came to the notice of the government a few days ago only, and an inspection party consisting of senior officials and two senior police officers visited the island the day before yesterday, Wednesday the 12th of October. This party verified and confirmed the early report received through unofficial channels. In the opinion of the government, this intrusion by Venezuelans constitutes a breach of the Geneva Agreement entered into between the governments of the United Kingdom and Venezuela on the 17th of February 1966, to which agreement the government of Guyana is now a party. And today I have sent a cable uh, to Dr. Iribaran Borges, the Foreign Minister of Venezuela, strongly protesting the intrusion of Venezuelan personnel onto Guyanese territory and asking that immediate steps be taken by the government of Venezuela to ensure the immediate withdrawal of all such personnel. I have this morning informed the leader of the opposition of the situation and held discussions with him. Meanwhile, I await a reply from the Venezuelan government. I consider it my duty to inform the nation of this latest development and to assure you that every step is being taken to retain our territorial sovereignty by peaceful means. Your government proposes to abide by the terms of the Geneva Agreement and is hopeful that the government of Venezuela will do likewise. You are asked to remain calm and to await further information. Long live Guyana.